Welcome back. In this session, briefly, I'm going to go over the backplot and verify operations. Now, I quickly went over it in the previous session, but I'd like you to get to know these two little things a little better, these two options better. Now, I'm going to zoom out on my part a little bit, and I'm going to show you my stock. Now, after we've done our last operation, which was the facing, um, there's a few options here that I'd like you to get to know. First, there's select all operations. If we select it, it will select every operations we have. Right now, we only have one operation. Then there's select all dirty operations. Dirty operations are operations that are not complete, and uh, we don't we don't. There's nothing here to select, so it doesn't select anything. Uh, regenerate all selected operations is that if we, if you do something to an operation, you you need to come back and select them all, and then regenerate all dirty operations. Uh, basically, select all dirty operations over here, and then regenerate them all. Now here. If you click on it, it says no operations were selected. Please select at least one operation. And that means there's nothing, there was no dirty operations. There was nothing wrong with any operation uh, for us to be, to try to fix it. Now, you come over here to the back plot selected operation and you left click on it. You're going to see this back plot dialog box appear. There's going to be a few things here to know. Now, the first button, it says display with color codes, which means this bar right here will display in color codes depending on every operation. We only have one operation, so it will only display in green. Now you're going to see our um, little uh, buttons over here that can click play and it actually machines our part our uh, part for us. We can stop it at any time. We can fast forward it, start it over. And uh, the speed, we can control the speed right here with this button right here. So uh, we come back over here. We're going to see our second option is display the tool. We have it highlighted currently, so it will display the tool while it's machining. Our third operation will display the holder as well. So we have that highlighted, so it's going to display both of those. Our fourth one is going to be display rapid moves. So if there's any rapid moves, which means if your tool is leaving the part a little bit uh, very fast, if you have that checked in your parameters, it will display that. Our fourth operation is display endpoints. So any endpoints in your geometry it will display. And our fourth one is click quick verify. So it quickly verifies your part before it machines it. Now, if I click on this down arrow right here, you're going to see your operations that you have selected to see. And there, we only have one operation, which is going to be the lathe face uh, facing operation. In details, it will show you step by step what it's doing. And then there's the info box that will show you the feed rate and the rapid movements. And it shows you the cycle time per, for your whole operation total is going to be 34 seconds. That's how long it will take for the operation to take place. So for here, I'm, what I'm going to do is I can come over here and click on the play button. And I can move this around if I'd like. And there you go. It shows you the machining happening. I'm going to stop this. This is basically your toolpath. Your tool is going to come over here and it's going to start machining. And I'm going to, I'm going to back it up. And I'm going to play it again just to show you what happens uh, in the toolpath. So right now it's going to machine your part for you. I'm going to click over here just to get it going. There you go. And you'll see your toolpath. So it's going to take two roughing passes and then one last finishing pass and it goes back out. So basically it comes in and because we have rapid moving out it's actually going to get out very very fast or as fast as the machine allows it to go. And as you can see here it shows you your operation this is basically just to, for you to verify uh, how your toolpath is happening so come over here and click on the check mark and there you go now for the last but not least is the verify selected operation so you can click on that and this actually shows you the part nicely so if you actually click on isometric view it will show you the part and it will whenever it machines it shows you the machining in different color so you know the machining is taking place now for this, we already went through it in our previous exercise, so I will not go through it. But I will just click on the play button. I will slow it down a little bit, or a lot, and I will click on the play button so you can come and see your facing. So this is one rough, two roughing, and then the last finishing move, and it's done. So this is nice just so you can see your tool come in and machine your part. To rotate this, you can hold the scroll button in your mouse and just move it around, and you'll see your whole part rotate. You can zoom in if you like and see your tool a little bit better. You can study your tool a little bit. And I'm going to click on isometric again. Click on OK. And there you go. In this exercise, you've learned how to use the, ver 
the back plot and the verify options as well as all the tools over here. Now the G1 is going to be where you generate your NC code, but we're going to learn that as the last thing in this chapter.